show you how to fix the PHP INI file on Windows on XAMPP. And this is part of my PHP intro uh, install process. And so, um, let's see, I got, let me get XAMPP. I've got my XAMPP up and running. Um, I'm going to make a little program. I'm going to make a little PHP program. Uh, PHP print hello world question mark PHP. So I'm going to save this file, save as um, XAMPP htdocs. Um, I am going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this one oops. And then I'm going to call my file oops.php and then save it. Okay. So I got myself a little bit of code there, and uh, so now I'm going to go to um, http colon slash slash localhost slash oops slash oops dot php. If all goes well, there I have it. Hello world. Uh, of course, I can't type capital letters right, but who cares? So let's just say, for example, I can't type, which is absolutely true. Let me fix this capital W while I'm at it. Okay, so now I'm making a mistake here. I'm explicitly making a mistake. I'm going to save that file. Now I come over here and press refresh. Okay, so here's the thing. We got a completely blank page, and that's because it failed. It's because we got this blank page when we had a syntax error. And many of these uh, integrated XAMPP, WAMPs, they are set up so that they don't want to show errors when errors occur for fear of revealing secure information. So we have to reconfigure it. And the way you figure out how to reconfigure it is you go to your admin page. This is your XAMPP admin page. And then go to PHP info. And I'm going to find um, display underscore errors. So see this line display underscore errors and this off? That means I'm not going to show errors in the browser when errors happen. So we have to edit a file. We have to find the PHP config file. Now you can figure this out maybe by searching on the web, but the best way to do it is to look in this PHP info, out, info output for the PHP INI file and it tells you the loaded configuration file. It says that this is in c colon backslash xamp slash php slash php ini. So we've got to edit this file. Now while I'm going to do this, I'm going to go back into my control panel and I'm going to stop Apache. I can leave MySQL alone. I'm going to stop Apache and I'm going to open a file and um, I'll go into XAMPP. It said to go into PHP Oh, and then I left, have to look for a file PHP INI, and thanks to Windows hiding, there's PHP CLI, not that. I can hover over here, PHP GIF, and PHP configuration settings. I'm going to guess that's the one, and yes, it is. This is my PHP INI file. So this is the settings that control how your PHP is set up. So be careful when you're editing this. So I am going to search and look for display errors. Uh, that's not the line I'm looking for. I'm looking for this line. So here we have it. It's configured explicitly to not display errors. So all I'm going to do is turn this to on and then I'm going to save the file. It's not changed colors. And now I'm going to go back to my XAMPP control panel and I'm going to restart Apache and then I'm going to come back to this administration screen just for my own sanity and do PHP info again and I will do another find down here for display errors and errors and you'll note that it says on which is great because now I'm not crazy so I edited the file I checked to see the effect of the edit of the file so now let's go back to our little PHP file that had the problem in it, and I'm going to re I'm going to re hit the refresh here, 
And now it says, ah, here we go. So it's showing me an error. It's actually showing me the error on the display now. And so I can sit and go back, oh, I got to go fix that. Okay, we don't need this one. File, close, goodbye to PHP I and I. And we go like, oh yeah, line two, I must have made a mistake. And so it's, it's extremely frustrating. I'll hit refresh and we can see. So it works. So it's extremely frustrating to get a blank screen here when it's giving you no clue as to what is wrong. It's configured like that on purpose, but it is not maximally convenient for us developers. Okay? So I hope that helps. Uh, what to do if you get sort of a blank screen or a 500 internal error on, uh, on XAMPP on Windows. Thanks.